Welcome to my SU News Channel. Representative Lauren Boebert denies punching ex-husband after he was aggressive during public argument that sparked police call. Firebrand Representative Lauren Boebert is punching in the new year with yet another public outing gone awry. The Colorado Republican, 37, allegedly socked her ex-husband in the face after the two practically came to blows at a restaurant in Silt Saturday evening, reports said. Boebert, our call, denied punching Jason Boebert, who told the Denver Post on Sunday that he was not pursuing charges after he allegedly called local police as a victim of domestic violence. This is a sad situation for all that keeps escalating and another reason I'm moving, Boebert said in a statement, according to local NBC affiliate CUSA. I didn't punch Jason in the face, and no one was arrested. I will be consulting with my lawyer about the false claims he made against me and evaluate all of my legal options. Boebert's aide told the Daily Beast that Jason Boebert made an aggressive move toward her and she put her hand in his face, put her hand on his nose to repel him. But another description alleged that the congresswoman managed to land two punches to Jason Boebert's nose, prompting him to call the local police as a victim of domestic violence. Lauren Boebert reportedly called the police to dispute the allegation of a domestic assault. During their night out at the Miner's Claim restaurant in Silt, which is in her district, Jason allegedly began being disrespectful, started growing lewd, and was being in a hole, the aide recounted. Jason told the Denver Post he phoned Silt police Sunday morning to tell them he doesn't want to press charges. I don't want nothing to happen, Jason reportedly said. Her and I were working through a difficult conversation. He cut the interview short before elaborating on what happened between him and his ex-wife. The Boberts had tied the knot in the mid-2000s, but later divorced in 2023 over irreconcilable differences. It is with a heavy weight on my heart that I have filed for divorce from my husband, she said at the time of the divorce. I am grateful for our years of marriage together and for our beautiful children. Their divorce came shortly after their son Tyler, 17 at the time, impregnated a girl. Jason has a rap sheet and previously pleaded guilty to public indecency and lewd exposure over his actions at a Colorado bowling alley in 2004, involving two women when he was 24 years old. Lauren Boebert, herself, also has a track record of minor arrests, including for disorderly conduct and missing court summons. Silt Police Department is said to be conducting an active investigation. The Post contacted the police for additional information. A spokesperson for the Congresswoman did not return requests for comment. The Post was unable to get in touch with Jason Boebert, and his voicemail box was full. The alleged roughhousing was first flagged by American Muckrakers, an anti Boebert super PAC. Preceding the alleged dust up were tensions when Lauren Boebert drove to her ex's home to give one of their children a ride to dinner, the Daily Beast reported. Jason Boebert allegedly attempted to hug her, but the mom of four rejected that. He then called to apologize and the two agreed to have dinner at a public restaurant. This isn't Boebert's first high profile quarrel. She allegedly got into a bathroom shouting match with Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, Republican Georgia, last year. Last September, Representative Boebert made waves for getting handsy with her then beau Quinn Gallagher, co-owner of an Aspen bar, while they were in a theater audience for a performance of the musical Beetlejuice. Surveillance footage captured her blowing a plume of vape smoke into the air and appearing to grope her male companion's crotch mid-show. Gallagher was also spotted fondling her breasts. The two were booted from the showing for causing a disruption. Officials claimed that the duo breached theater policy by taking pictures and drew complaints from those seated around them. Later, the congresswoman and Gallagher parted ways. Lauren Boebert subsequently suggested the two weren't meant for each other, because he was a Democrat. I was a little too eccentric. I am very known for having an animated personality. Maybe overly animated personality, the rabble-rouser told one American news network after the ordeal. The 37-year-old Republican was barely re-elected in the considerably red 3rd District of Colorado in the 2022 midterm elections. She narrowly bested Democrat Adam Frisch by a paltry 546 votes. Frisch is vying for that seat again and has touted formidable campaign fundraising figures. Source, nypost.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.